South Africa won the toss and chose to bat first. Here's the first ball of this third test match. There is swing there for Hogar, but it's a full pitch, and Graham Smith's off the mark. Well, what about that? He did it at Durban, and he's done it again here. Leaving the ball well alone, Herschel Gibbs is clean bowl by Matthew Hoggard. That'll give England the boost they were looking for. It's Hoggard that strikes early. South Africa a nine for one in the third over. Finds the gap. And away for four. Ooh, it's a bit edgy. Yeah, that's four more to the total. Well, this time there is a noise. Up goes the finger, and Jones has got the breakthrough for England. Jack Rudolph uh, never comfortable today. Reached 26 from 63 balls, but England working hard. This isn't a bowler of friendly pitch at all, but they picked up a second South African wicket. Rudolph goes for those 26 runs. It's 70 for two. Well, he was on 48, now he's on 52. Graham Smith back into some form. It's his 10th 50 in his 31st test. But he also has seven hundreds. It's a good shot. Jack Callis in imperious form here, managed to get right on top of that. And they love it. It's a fine shot, great shot. Wonderful use of the feet, there's no one back at long on. And there's no turn really to worry about, so Jack Callis very confident in just clipping that over the top of mid-on. Well, was there some bat there? Daryl Harper says, no, there wasn't. England thought there definitely was. Well, Giles is uh, distraught. A little bit of turn and bounce, Graham Smith getting angry with himself, playing the shot, but did he glove it? No, he hit it. Nowhere near his glove, straight off the inside edge of the bat. Yes! A bit more air as well now. This time he uh, nods his head as Daryl uh, Harper and Graham Smith goes. So, justice in the end for Ashley Giles as he picks up the third South African wicket to fall. Graham Smith, after that let-off, must have thought he was booked in for a century. It's not to be, he goes to 74. Jones to Callis. <laughs> 34 50s for Jack Callis in uh, Test Match Cricket. This is his 85th appearance for South Africa. What a player. Him. Well, you've said it. Frustration comes into it. Keep him going. He's controlled the game, Ashley Giles. And if you leave that gap open at mid-wicket, sooner or later, a batsman, maybe an inexperienced batsman, will say, yes, I'll have four through there. Dippenar perishes. And it's Giles again for England. Some good discipline from the English bowlers restricted South Africa to 247 on a fine batting service. But the match was set up perfectly going into day two, with the ever-dangerous Callis still at the crease. Oh, that's a good shout. Is that going over the top? No, it isn't, according to Daryl Harper. Amla can't believe it. He was sure that would have gone over the top of the stumps. We've seen the ball sailing over the stumps all morning, but Daryl Harper didn't agree. Hashim Amla goes. And once again, Matthew Hoggard, with a new ball in his hand, does the damage for England. Well, it was in the air, but uh, it's flown away from Jack Callis. Takes him on to 99. That's it. Drifting into his legs. Thank you very much, Sir Jack Callis.
He'll pick up three there. And that'll take him to 102, his 19th Test match 100. His fourth on his home ground here in Cape Town. Yeah! Oh, he's got him. Ashley Giles has done it again. He got uh, Dipinar in much the same sort of fashion yesterday. And today it's uh, De Villiers who has fallen for it. Bowled by Ashley Giles. That's an edge, and that's the wicket. He went feeling for it, a little bit of uncertainty. And England turning this into their morning. And it's driven down the ground, that could go all the way. Nicely timed up the hill. And it is going to go all the way. So... The boy finishes it in style, the morning session. That's a good shot. Big Bob Keys in hot pursuit here. Will he get there? No, he doesn't. He's gone for four. They go everywhere. I've seen these in New Zealand, in Australia, West Indies, Sri Lanka. Seen them everywhere. They're pretty tame, you know, Al. And with all these game parks around here, they've got to be careful. And that is 50 for Nicky Boyer. Very well played indeed. And uh, the South African dressing room recognises the importance too of this partnership, which is now on to 93. Yeah! Well, he's got him. Fantastic. It's that man Flint off again. And Callis won't get his 150. Playing a defensive shot as well. All credit to the bowler. Well, there goes Antini, he doesn't know where that's gone, it's gone up in the air, and he has gifted his wicket away. Wow, what a bonus for Andrew Flintoff, uh, two wickets in the over. That's an awful effort from uh, Makai Antini. So, Boyer yeah, goes offside. Cheeky shot, beautifully executed. If you're going to play the uh, reverse sweep, why not play it as well as that? Yeah! It's Geraint Jones who's taken the catch, diving full length to his left. A very fine catch indeed. Flintoff mops up the tail eventually, and South Africa dismissed for 441. They're both obviously in very fine touch. The last time these two went out and batted together, they put on a small measure of 273. That's a pleasing shot from Strauss. And it's away for four. Fantastic shot. England move on to 32 without loss. Jack! That's out. Well, eventually, uh, the persistence of Macarantini with his short pitched uh, line of attack has actually paid off. <laughs> appeal. Has he got a nudge on that? Yes, he has. Daryl Harper raises the finger. Full of length, full of length, and then a sharp, short delivery. Do you want to have a hook at it? He may just have got a glove or a top edge on this. And Robert Key, all that preparation, all those nets, to no avail. England's new number three is on his way back. Gone. Gone, outside edge, it's terrific bowling from Langerfeld, he's bowled to the plan. Hesitant outside that off stump, and that is a big wicket for South Africa.
And for Joel Langfeld, it's his first Test match wicket. He's dragged it on. That's superb bowling for Mantini. The bowling change works again for South Africa. What a day Graham Smith is having. He can't do anything wrong at all. Everything going his way. England are in uh, lots of trouble now. They're 95 for four. And it's Andrew Strauss who's gone for 45. And he's dragged this on from wide. He's very annoyed with himself. That's the end of the second day's play. England trailing by 346. They finished the second day on 95 for four. South Africa started the day on 247 for four and extended their total to 441. South African players followed the umpires out and here are the England uh, not out batsmen. Well, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? Hoggard with the outside edge, Smith with the catch, and Tini with the wicket. 97 for five. Gone. That's where you're going to get him. Slip, Scully, make him play these 14 shots off the back foot. And it's all South Africa this morning. Well, it was a short ball. Flintoff went after it. Gully, backward point. Herschel Gibbs again takes the catch. That's the area you dismiss Andrew Flintoff. Not silly point in the gully area. Mackay and Tini, he's on fire. That's out. That's beautifully bowled. And very nicely taken. South Africa having it all their own way this morning here in Cape Town. He's got in. That's important too. Everything's worked for South Africa this morning. Every time that ball's been in the air, it seems there's been someone in the right position to take the catch. And now it's uh, Graham Thorpe who's on his way. It's Jacques Rudolph who's taken the catch. What oh, a disgust on Graham Thorpe's face as he clipped that straight to Jacques Rudolph. That's out. Swing and miss. So Langevelt picks up his fourth wicket. Four for 45 he's got now. Some debut. Well, that's typical Ashley Giles. He'll go up over the top every chance he gets on that offside. That's his strength. Brings the 150 up. 153 for nine. And that's the end. Langevelt gets five for on his debut. What a magnificent moment for that young man. 16 overs, four maidens, five for 46. And much appreciated by his teammates. They dismissed England on a flat surface for 163. A huddle in the middle, a team meeting, whether that's to discuss the follow-on, I doubt it. That's the captain telling his team how proud he is of them what the plan is from now onwards to remind them how they bowled England out. That's how they're going to have to be for a while yet if South Africa are going to move back up that table. Good work, Graham Smith. An excellent day for South African cricket. Huge cheer from the home crowd as uh, Herschel Gibbs and Graham Smith come out to open the South African second innings. Got to be a good shout. Up goes the finger. He's done it again. Matthew Hollow with that new ball. And Graham Smith, a real candidate for that uh, dismissal. We've talked about it before. He gets far too far across. As soon as the ball swings, Hoggard's in business. Well, if you had a computer and you wanted to know where to ball at Smith, that's the perfect delivery. He's found the gap perfectly at extra cover. And that wasn't a half volley from Matthew Hoggard. Gibbs has hit that on the up. 
That is a good shot. That's going to go all the way. Just. Good way to finish the over. 60 for one from 11. Oh, no. There it is. It's the wicket. Also Gibbs, in the end, feeling for it. And Andrew Flintoff has picked up his 100th test wicket. The 40th England bowler to do that. That is hit uh, very well indeed. It was a little bit too full. But they're not always, to, not always that easy to put away quite as well as this. Here he goes again. Well, that's gone further. And if Ashton Giles was thinking of holding things up for a while, it's not quite worked. In the air and out. Well, that's uh, a shocking shot. Rudolph uh, out of uh, Nick, out of sorts. 77 balls to 23 runs. But Simon Jones has picked up his wicket. A good athletic catch by uh, Rob Key in the covers. It's 101 for three now. Well, that one's through the gap. It's wide. Dippenau goes after it. There is no man on sweeping for Dippenau. Beat the infield. Pick up four. But these are all good signs for South Africa. There we go. Sounds like a big, big outside edge. Now, goodness me. Now that, I could hear that from there. I could see, oh, I don't know. Are we all cracking up? Well, either we're cracking up or Daryl Harper is. There was a massive noise. Sometimes replays of court behinds don't help. There's a huge noise. Incredible. Short and 50. Well, keep trying. He's on to 50. It's the 34th time he's got the 50 in his 85th test match. And uh, 1900s on top of that uh, statistic as well. He's a fine player. Just one of those little bars at the back of there, Bumble. Sold eight and a half thousand pints yesterday. That's just one of the bars. That line of empty plastic cups is like origami or something. Who's collecting stamps? What do you do? It's enormously long, isn't it? That's going to beat Hoggard and go for four. That's it, 59 overs of the uh, second innings have been bowled. The bat's under the arm, off uh, Jacques Callis goes. Choosing not to enforce the follow-on, South Africa were now piling on the misery. Already 462 runs ahead of England going into day four. Things were looking bleak for Michael Vaughan's men. Flintoff, who's going to do the bowling? He'll get proceedings underway from the Kelvin Grove end. Well, what a gift that is. Thank you very much. We've seen a lot of players uh, caught in front of the wicket in this test match. Doesn't happen very often, but Buta Dipanar doesn't add to his overnight score. Flintoff adds to his uh, test match wicket tally. And South Africa find themselves 184 for four. This is tight. Direct hit. Steve Buckner is asking for the opinion of the third umpire. That's uh, Brian Jerling here in Cape Town. England are celebrating. They think they've got their man. And save the third umpire. A little job here. This is out. Absolutely certain. It's Vaughan underarm. On your way. 
This one's in front of square. Giles has to sprint the other way. Cuts this one off. Well, Steve Buckner's going to have to ask again. It's good work by England this time in the field. Comedy cricket this morning. South Africa still at the crease, but make it a little bit of a hash. Be a strong throw, in or out. Just look where Amler is. John stretches, in or out, in or out, in or out. Third umpire called in. What do you think? Well, he's well short, isn't he? Another run out in the uh, first half hour's play. It's in the air and out. Steve Anderson says to his teammates, at last. Mr Giles, very safe hands, no mistake. Well, it's a big shout, he's gone. Simon Jones bangs the ball and goes to the bouncer. Ramler goes for the hook, gets the glove, I think. And it's well taken. And Jones. Graham Smith has brought an end to proceedings. So, quite simple, England need 501 runs. South Africa need 10 wickets. And that's out. What a start. What a start for the South Africans. The silly mid-off was in there. It's Hashim Amla. And the first ball of the innings, the first shot of the innings, ends up in his hands. That is a dramatic start to this England second innings. That's a good shot, a very good shot indeed. Punished. Well, Langerfeld can't believe that. Magnificent shot from Strauss to finish that over. It's 48 for one. Oh, it's good bowling. He pushed that through just that little bit more quickly. Well, just when you think that uh, Andrew Strauss has got away with it, those thought processes in Steve Buckner's mind have just done their bit, he's looked at it closely, always looks closely and takes time to think about it. And eventually the finger goes up, so well bowled it is indeed, Nicky Boyer. Well, that's more like the Michael Vaughan with a full half volley. Much more purposeful there. Picks up a boundary. Now that will settle the nerves. Well, it's timing in more ways than one. Timing off the middle of the bat, but all his movements are in sync. Well, that's the shot that uh, he maybe was looking for in that uh, first innings. The bouncer not to getting up as high. Another boundary to Rob Key. Oh, yeah. yeah. Done it. I don't believe it. I said earlier, I don't think anybody's going to charge down the pitch. <laughs> Robert Key has done exactly that. It's a nightmare. Look at Robert Key on the way off. He's nearly hitting himself with the bat. He can't believe that he's done this. Can't believe it either. Takes a big shot on, there's a fielder out there, he's gone this time, he can't believe it. Michael Vaughan has to go, Jack Rudolph, captaincy is getting better from Graham Smith, balling to a plan. They're absolutely delighted, they're ecstatic, South Africa. I don't know if that shot was just out of pure frustration. It's a good catch from Jacques Rudolph. That's away for four behind square. 
it's a good over for England. Six runs coming from it, 131 for four. He's punched that into the ground, and that's how well timed that is. It's dug out, and it's hit the wicket, bounced over Graham Smith, and raced to the boundary. There's a big, big shout, and the hand goes up. Sean Pollock has struck. And she flinked off. He goes, caught behind. And that is a massive wicket at this time of the day. Well, I'm not sure how pleased Andrew Flintoff is. It was an absolute beauty from Sean Pollock. There was a noise. Two not out batsmen, and Thorpe, Grant Jones. Players leave the field. England with a mountain to climb. Could one of England's batsmen repeat Michael Hatherton's marathon innings in 1995 against South Africa in Johannesburg and bat for 10 hours to save the match? It would be a tall order. All smiles, South Africa sensed their chance as play began on the final day. England aren't going to get any help from the weather today. A few uh, fluffy white clouds, but no prospect of rain at all. They're going to have to bat their way out of... Uh, this hole they find themselves in. Oh. He's done it again. Graham Thorpe has to go. That's what South Africa are after. They think they're through England now as they see the back of Graham Thorpe. It's that man, uh, Sean Pollock, again. He's one of the world's best. <laughs> They're back. Feeding time. Uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Don't mind that too much. It's a lovely shot from uh, Ashley Charles. South Africa can afford to uh, let a few boundaries go as long as they maintain the pressure elsewhere. 200 up for England. Very sweet shot again, and no need to run. This partnership has just emphasised how good the pitch still is and uh, what you can achieve by good, sensible batting. That's a beauty from Nicky Boyer. Left arm spinner to left arm spinner, one coming round the wicket and finding some turn, an absolute beauty. And that's broken the partnership that was building. Nicky Boyer dismisses Ashley Giles. Yeah! Well, that's fantastic. That really is an exceptional catch. Palace had to keep his eye right on that cricket ball. Well, that's uh, very straightforward, isn't it? Straight away, having gone round the wicket, Sean Pollock has picked up the uh, ninth wicket of this innings. Just short. Well, Harmison hasn't done a lot of entertaining with the uh, ball in this series yet for England. Having a great time with the bat. It's a massive blow, over it goes, into the stand. England fans are loving this. Well, only 212 needed now. And that's it. Here it goes. Caught in the gully. The game comes to an end. Divinar takes the catch. The series is level. South Africa's 12th test win at Newlands. And it becomes their most successful test venue. 
Saints they win by 196 runs and it's England's first loss in 14 tests since Sri Lanka at Colombo back in December